Hello, I'm James and I'm going to show you how to set up delivery slots based on the shipping zone or shipping method in WooCommerce. So here we've got a basic WooCommerce install and we've got the dummy product set up and it's using the storefront theme alongside our delivery slots plugin. So the first thing we want to do is set up the shipping zones. Um, so we'll go down to WooCommerce settings. You'll then want to click on shipping and then we'll go down to add shipping zone. So our first shipping zone we're going to call UK AB. This is going to be a zone restricted to the United Kingdom and we're going to limit it to specific zip or postcodes. We're going to type in AB star. And what this will do is any postcode that's entered that starts with AB will match this shipping zone. Um, so you can get more specific than that. You could do AB12 star, so any postcode beginning with AB12 would match this zone. Um, and you can even enter in, you know, exact zones like that. Um, so any postcode that matches that exactly would use this shipping zone. But for now, we just want to match any that start with AB. Uh, and the other thing to note, which I didn't just mention, is that each of these restrictions would be on a line, a new line each. Um, so that's how you separate them. Then we want to add our shipping method. So we're just going to add a flat rate. So if you're in zone AB, you're going to pay £10 for your shipping. That will save automatically as soon as you add a shipping method. So we'll go back to shipping zones and we'll create a new one. So for this test, we're going to create another one called UKXY. And we're going to do it to the United Kingdom again. But this time we're going to restrict it to XY star and the star is a wildcard. We'll add the flat rate and we'll edit it to make it £20. And that's all saved. So if we jump over to the front end, you can see I've already got a product in the cart. So we'll go to the checkout. Now from here, you can see we're already on the £10 flat rate, which was our AB zone. So if we change that to XY, we get onto the £20 flat rate, which is the XY zone. So that's good. Our shipping zones are working. Now you can see as I'm changing these shipping zones, we have the delivery details uh, offered for both. Now it might be the case that you only want to offer the option to choose a delivery date and time slot if your shipping zone is within the AB postcode range. Uh, and that's completely possible. So we'd go to WooCommerce delivery slots. We'll click on the general settings tab and you'll find the shipping methods section. So from here, currently it's set to show for any method. If we uncheck that and then check UK AB instead, it means if our shipping zone at the checkout is AB something, uh, the delivery details will be there, and if it isn't, they won't be there. So let's save that and take a look. Refresh this page. So we've got our postcode in the AB zone, and the details are there. Let's change it to XY, and you can see the shipping details, uh, delivery date details have gone. If we change it back to AB, they come back again. So that's required. So if we're checking out in the AB zone, we're required to choose a date and a time slot. And this kind of setup is perfect if you're offering a delivery or collection, uh, and maybe your collection or your delivery don't require specific dates and times. Um, cool. So the other thing we can do is 
to set up time slots specific to those time zones as well, uh, postcode zones, sorry. So first of all, we'll go to general settings. We'll set it to any method. Um, we'll go to date settings and we want to choose the days we deliver on, which is Monday to Friday. That's perfect. Uh, we deliver two days from now up to 14 days in the future. So that's fine. And you can add additional fees to the day selected or whether it's same day or next day. So that's all cool. Date settings are good. We'll go to time settings. They're already enabled. We can enable ASAP delivery if we want. So if you're uh, like a pizza place, you could have your pizza delivered as soon as it's ready. But what we want to look at is this time slot section. So time slot configuration. We've got one, two, three time slots configured already. And those time slots range from 2.30 a.m. to 10.45 a.m. 12.30 uh, p.m. to 1.45 p.m. and 2.30 p.m. to 6.45 p.m. So that's a good range of examples. Um, so let's say that 2.30 to 10.45 is available for any method. But what if we want 12.30 to 1.45 to be available only for the A-B zone? Well, we simply just click that and we uncheck any method. And for 2.30 to 6.45, let's make it only available for the X, Y zone. So we'll tick that and uncheck that. We'll select some days that that's available. So in the X, Y zone, we deliver on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday uh, between those particular times. On the 12.30 to 1.45 time slot in the A, B zone, we will deliver uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And the 2.30 to 10.45 slot, we're going to deliver to any zone and we're going to do it every day of the week, except the weekends when we don't deliver anyway. So let's save those changes. Now let's refresh our checkout. So we're in the AB zone. So based on our settings, we should be able to see 2.30 to 10.45 and also 12.30 to 1.45, but only on Monday to Wednesday. So we've got Wednesday and Thursday. Today is Monday, so we've got that two days in the future, 0, 1, 2. So let's go Wednesday where we should have two slots available. Yep, we've got 2.30 to 10.45 and we've got 12.30 to 1.45. If we then select Thursday, we should have one slot 2.30 to 10.45 because the second slot we set up isn't available on Thursday or Friday. So that's perfect. If we go ahead and change our postcode to XY, we've still got the 30th selected because that's still available. Let's have a look down here. So the 30th is a Thursday. We don't deliver on a Thursday. So let's change it back to Wednesday. We've got the general slot that's available for everyone and then 2.30 to 6.45, which is this slot here. So 2.30 to 6.45 available in the X, Y zone on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So you can see that's working perfectly. So you can set up your time slots and assign them to specific shipping zones. Um, each time slot has its own lockout parameter. So you can say after receiving six orders, for this time slot on any one particular day, this time slot is then disabled. So you allow six deliveries within this time slot on any particular day. So the other thing you can do with this functionality is to make it easy to offer delivery slots uh, and pickup slots as well. So if we go to our settings again, go to shipping and I'll just delete these. Delete that one. We're going to set, uh, we're going to set up one zone this time and it's just going to be the UK. 
but we're going to add two different shipping methods. So we're going to have flat rate, and we're also going to add local pickup. So the flat rate is going to be £10, this bit doesn't really matter, pickup can be free. Cool, so we've got one zone and we've got flat rate and local pickup. So let's go to our delivery slot settings. Go to general to check that any method is selected. And we'll go to our time slots again. So this way we can set up time slots um, based whether it's a delivery or a pickup. So for this time slot, for example, we can say that's for a delivery. Uh, this time slot can be for a pickup, and this time slot could be for anything. Let's save that. Refresh this page. So by default, we've got our delivery rate selected, and we can choose Wednesday, and we can choose those two uh, slots, so 2.30, uh, AM and 2.30 PM. So in our settings, the 2.30 AM slot is this one, which was, yep, for delivery, any day of the week. This one doesn't show up because it's for local pickup only. And this one does show up because it's for any method. If we then change to local pickup, our time slots reload and we can select the 12.30 and the 2.30. So the 12.30 slot was this one here, 12.30, and that was our pickup slot, Monday to Wednesday, and then this one as well, because it's for any method. The other thing you can do is change the labels um, based on the selected shipping method. So if we selected delivery, obviously we want these to say delivery details, delivery date. Um, however, when you select local pickup, you want it to say pick up details, pick up date, uh, and that is possible. There is a code snippet you can add to your child themes functions file, uh, which I will link to in the description for you. So I hope that helps you to set up delivery slots based on the shipping zone or the shipping method. Um, as you can see, it's very flexible and it will help if you have a variety of different zones or a variety of different methods. If you've got any questions, just drop me a message in the comments or send me an email or send me a message on Twitter. I'm James C. Kemp or IconicWP and I'll um, get back to you. Good luck.